Article 51. Promotion of international peace and security. The state shall endeavor to a. Promote international peace and security. b. Maintain just and honorable relations between nations. c. Foster respect for international law and treaty obligations in the dealings of organized peoples with one another. And d. Encourage settlement of international disputes by arbitration. Part Eva. Fundamental Duties. Article 51A. Fundamental Duties. It shall be the duty of every citizen of India uh, to abide by the constitution and respect its ideals and institutions, the national flag and the national anthem, b. to cherish and follow the noble ideals which inspired our national struggle for freedom, c. to uphold and protect the sovereignty, unity and integrity of India, d. to defend the country and render national service when called upon to do so, a. To promote harmony and the spirit of common brotherhood amongst all the people of India transcending religious, linguistic and regional or sectional diversities, to renounce practices derogatory to the dignity of women, f. To value and preserve the rich heritage of our composite culture, g. To protect and improve the natural environment including forests, lakes, rivers and wildlife, and to have compassion for living creatures, h. To develop the scientific temper, humanism and the spirit of inquiry and reform. I. To safeguard public property and to abjure violence. J. To strive towards excellence in all spheres of individual and collective activity so that the nation constantly rises to higher levels of endeavor and achievement. K. Who is a parent or guardian to provide opportunities for education to his child. A. Uh, as the case may be, ward between the age of 6 and 14 years. Part versus the Union Chapter I. The Executive. The President and Vice President. Article 52. The President of India. There shall be a President of India. Article 53. Executive Power of the Union. 1. The Executive Power of the Union shall be vested in the President and shall be exercised by him either directly or through officers subordinate to him in accordance with this Constitution. 2. Without prejudice to the generality of the foregoing provision, the supreme command of the defense forces of the Union shall be vested in the President and the exercise thereof shall be regulated by law. 3. Nothing in this article shall uh, be deemed to transfer to the President any functions conferred by any existing law on the government of any state or other authority, or b. Prevent Parliament from conferring by law functions on authorities other than the President. Article 54. Election of President. The President shall be elected by the members of an electoral college consisting of a. The elected members of both houses of parliament, and b. The elected members of the legislative assemblies of the states. Explanation. In this article and in Article 55, state, includes the national capital territory of Delhi and the union territory of Asterisk Pondicherry. Article 55. Manner of election of President. 1. As far as practicable, there shall be uniformity in the scale of representation of the different states at the election of the President. 2. For the purpose of securing such uniformity among the states inter se as well as parity between the states as a whole in the Union, the number of votes which each elected member of Parliament and of the Legislative Assembly of each state is entitled to cast at such election shall be determined in the following manner. Uh, every elected member of the Legislative Assembly of a state shall have as many votes as there are multiples of 1000 in the quotient obtained by dividing the population of the state by the total number of the elected members of the Assembly b. If, after taking the said multiples of 1000, the remainder is not less than 500, then the vote of each member referred to in subclause a. Uh, shall be further increased by 1. c. Each elected member of either House of Parliament shall have such number of votes as may be obtained by dividing the total number of votes assigned to the members of the legislative assemblies of the states under subclauses a. Uh, and b. By the total number of the elected members of both Houses of Parliament, fractions exceeding one half being counted as one and other fractions being disregarded. 3. The election of the President shall be held in accordance with the system of proportional representation by means of the single transferable vote and the voting at such election shall be by secret ballot. Explanation. In this article, the expression, population, means the population as ascertained at the last preceding census of which the relevant figures have been published, provided that the reference in this explanation to the last preceding census of which the relevant figures have been published shall, until the relevant figures for the first census taken after the year 2, 2026, have been published, be construed as a reference to the 1971 census. Article 56. 
Term of Office of President 1. The President shall hold office for a term of five years from the date on which he enters upon his office, provided that a. Uh, the President may, by writing under his hand addressed to the Vice President, resign his office, b. The President may, for violation of the Constitution, be removed from office by impeachment in the manner provided in Article 61, c. The President shall, notwithstanding the expiration of his term, continue to hold office until his successor enters upon his office. 2. Any resignation addressed to the Vice President under Clause A uh, of the Proviso to Clause 1, shall forthwith be communicated by him to the Speaker of the House of the People. Article 57. Eligibility for re-election, a person who holds, or who has held, office as president shall, subject to the other provisions of this constitution, be eligible for re-election to that office. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos.